Here's some scary statistics. Almost 40% of adults in the US have prediabetes and over 37 million have diabetes. But what's even more worrisome is that one in five people that have diabetes are not even aware of it. And when it comes to diabetes or insulin resistance, early detection and treatment is key to preventing future health complications like heart disease, strokes, kidney disease, or poor eye health. Well, in this video, I wanna share top eight warning signs of diabetes and insulin resistance that appear in your skin. And if you see these skin findings, this may be the first clue that you need to be seen by your doctor and start making changes right away. And for those of you that already know that you have diabetes, this is a good overview of skin complications that you need to be aware of, as these skin findings offer a good insight into how well you're doing controlling your sugar. Hi, I'm Dr. Leonid Kim, board certified in internal and obesity medicine. And on this channel, I discuss the most up-to-date and evidence evidence-based information on the topics of metabolic health, weight loss, and longevity. Let's get into it. The first skin condition to watch out for is called shin spots or diabetic dermopathy. It is the most common skin finding of diabetes and it often looks like light brown and scaly patches that are oval or circular. You usually see them on your shins and sometimes on your forearms or thighs and it's usually caused by the damage in the small blood vessels. These patches don't hurt or itch and often they don't need to be treated. But if you see them, you do need to get checked out by your doctor to make sure you don't have diabetes or prediabetes. The next skin condition I want you to be aware of is called Necrobiosis Lipodica Diabeticorum. And the skin changes are somewhat similar to shin spots, but these spots are fewer, larger in size and deeper. These spots often start as dull and reddish raised areas or bumps that look like pimples. And as the condition progresses, these spots turn into patches of swollen and hard skin that is yellow reddish or brown. And after a while, these patches take on this shiny porcelain-like appearance, sometimes with visible blood vessels, and these can be itchy and painful. For some reason, this condition is more prevalent in women and it doesn't require any treatment unless it develops into an open sore. It is very important to monitor these as open sores can lead to infections and sometimes even lead to a skin cancer called squamous cell carcinoma. Another skin condition to watch out for is darker skin in the crease of your neck armpits or groin. These patches of skin have thickened and velvety texture and is called acanthosis nigricans. And it's usually a sign of insulin resistance. And the best treatment for this is reversing insulin resistance. And for those that suffer from overweight or obesity, weight loss can be very helpful. Next is a condition called Bullosis diabeticorum or simply diabetic blisters. These blisters tend to form on the back of hands, feet, and forearms. And they look like blisters that appear after a serious burn. But unlike burns, these are painless and do not have any redness around them. They usually heal by themselves in two to three weeks. And the main things to watch out for is monitoring for infection and getting your blood glucose under control. Next is a skin condition called granuloma annulari which is a rash that you often see on your fingers, ears, or your torso. This rash looks like bumps and patches that are often pink or red or skin colored. And these bumps may look like sharply defined rings with raised borders. This condition often has a pretty prolonged course and there are medications that can be used to clear that up. The next skin condition you need to be aware of is eruptive xanthomas. And it presents as clusters of firm, yellowish, pea-like bumps with a red halo. These bumps may be itchy and they're often seen on the back of hands, feet, arms, legs, and buttocks. This condition is usually a sign of poorly controlled diabetes or high triglyceride levels and the bumps disappear with improved glucose control. Next is a very common condition seen in people suffering from diabetes or insulin resistance known as acrocordons or skin tags. They look like growths that hang from a stalk and are usually seen on the eyelids, neck, armpit, and groin. Now, not everyone that has skin tags has diabetes, but some studies show that as many as three out of four patients presenting with skin tags also have diabetes. Another skin condition I wanna discuss is called digital sclerosis, and it presents as tight, thick, waxy skin on the back of your hands, and this may cause your finger joints to become stiff and difficult to move and some report the feeling of having pebbles in their fingertips. The skin thickening can also happen around your knees, ankles, and elbows. And the treatment for this usually involves improved glucose control and at times physical therapy. If you see any of these changes on your skin, be sure to talk to your doctor to make sure you don't have diabetes or prediabetes or early insulin resistance as early diagnosis and treatment are key in preventing future complications. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.